Databases are the core component of any organization or application. Protecting the integrity of the database and having right strategy to recover quickly in case of any failures is vital to minimize the risk of catastrophic data loss. Google Cloud SQL's point-in-time recovery feature is an essential safeguard to protect against data loss. Point-in-time recovery helps you recover a Cloud SQL instance to a specific point in time. For example, if an error causes loss of data, you can recover a database to its state before the error occurred. In this video, you will learn about Google Cloud SQL's point-in-time recovery feature, how to enable or disable it, and use point-in-time recovery for your Cloud SQL instances. You will also learn about some caveats with point-in-time recovery and how to resolve them. Let's get started by having a quick look at some key concepts. Restoration point, also known as backup, is the state up to which the data can be recovered. It is usually recommended to have daily backups as best practice for nearly all data at any time of the day. You can take on-demand backups to augment your daily automated backups. The recovery point objective, or RPO, the time when data loss occurs, depends on whether point-in-time recovery is enabled on the instance. If point-in-time recovery is not enabled, the RPO will be the difference in the time between the last backup and the data loss incident. By comparison, the RPO with point-in-time recovery enabled can be as low as zero since you can target recovery to the point in time just before the data loss incident. Recovery time objective or RTO is the maximum acceptable amount of time to restore an application and regain access to the data after an unplanned incident. Maximum tolerable downtime or MTD is the maximum amount of time for which a business application or process can be disrupted without causing significant harm to the organization's mission. Here are a few details to keep in mind while using Cloud SQL's point-in-time recovery. Point-in-time recovery is enabled by default when new Cloud SQL instances are created. It always creates a new instance which inherits the settings from the source instance. It uses write ahead logging or val logs which are updated regularly and use storage space. The val logs are automatically deleted with their associated automatic backup which generally happens after about 7 days. Automated backups and val logging must be enabled for your Cloud SQL instance. Automated backups can be retained for up to an year by configuring the retention period. Additionally, there is a restore rate limitation of maximum three operations every 30 minutes. If a restoration operation fails, it does not count towards this quota. Let's get into action and see how you can enable point-in-time recovery for an existing Cloud SQL instance. First, go to the Cloud SQL instances page in the Google Cloud Console then open the More Actions menu for the instance you want to enable point-in-time recovery on and click Edit. Then under Customize your instance, expand the Data Protection section and select the Enable Point-in-Time Recovery checkbox. Enter the number of days to retain the logs from 1 through 7. I'll set it as 7. Then click Save. Now let's verify if the point-in-time recovery has been enabled. First, go to the Cloud SQL Instances page, then click the instance. In the Overview page, scroll down to the Configuration section. Yay! Point-in-time recovery is enabled. You can also disable point-in-time recovery for your Cloud SQL instance either via Google Cloud Console or G Cloud command. Be aware! Enabling or disabling point-in-time recovery causes a Cloud SQL instance to restart. Finally, let's perform point-in-time recovery. Go back to the Cloud SQL Instances page. Click the More Actions menu for the instance you want to recover and click Create Clone. In the Create a Clone page, update the name of the new instance. Select Clone from earlier time Enter the point-in-time recovery time you want to recover your instance to and click Create Clone. Now that point-in-time recovery is enabled, it's important to note 
that log purging happens once daily, not continuously. If this is causing an issue for your instance, then reduce the log retention period appropriately. For more information on how to use point-in-time recovery to restore your Cloud SQL instance, check out the Cloud SQL documentation. Thanks for watching. Thank you.